Today we're going to route out Easy Drummer 3 in the Daw Reaper, which is actually pretty simple. But if you've done it before, here's at least my tips and tricks when doing it. So if I right click, insert virtual instruments on new track, we'll find Easy Drummer. If you've never done it before, look under developers, tune tracks right here. Easy Drummer 3 will be in this list. I'm going to use a VST3 when possible. And right here, this is actually the majority of the video, is this dialog box right here. Reaper is saying, hey, this plugin can route out multiple channels. Do you want to do that or not? And you select yes, and then you get the routing right there. But let's select no right out of the gate. And let's pretend we have a finished song already. Easy Drummer 3's default behavior, it's just a stereo instrument on a stereo track. So now we're done our song and now we want to mix and now we go, oh, now I want to route. How do we get that dialog box back? Go up to the effects button, select it. And in the left, when you select that effects button, you get this left column that shows you all the plugins that are on this channel. So right click on Easy Drummer 3, go down to build, multi-channel routing for output of selected effects, select that. And there's that dialog box that we skipped earlier or that you may have skipped when you started making your song. And now we select yes. And now we have 16 stereo tracks down here. And if we hit play, Easy Drummer isn't routing out to those channels yet but those channels are standing by to receive. And keep in mind, those are all stereo tracks. That's 16 stereo tracks. Easy Drummer 3 does not work in mono with the exception of Cubase and Nuendo. So how do I get these tracks to start working? Let's open up Easy Drummer 3, go to the Mixer tab, and under this small Mixer menu, by default, stereo, it's not even selected, but it should be by default. Easy Drummer 3 is stereo. Simply select multi-channel and you'll notice all these outputs from each channel, they say one and two. That means every channel in Easy Drummer 3 is going out one stereo track, the default behavior. Notice all these numbers change when I select multi-channel in three, two, one. Now the snare's coming out three, four, five, six, the hi-hat's coming out seven, eight. Now let's hit play. Now the routing's working. This is a kick drum, for example. And when you figure out your routing, name your tracks if you wish. One other thing about selecting multi-channel output in the mixer, let me just go back to stereo. Now Easy Drummer is performing as a single stereo track, as you can see right here. Let's say we didn't agree with the routing when you selected multi-channel. Let's say I wanted every kick drum mic to be on its own channel, not be combined into a single stereo track. So instead of selecting multi-channel, I can just select these outputs and assign them to whatever I want. So if I wanted three different channels in Reaper to represent the three different kick drum microphones, I'll take the second one and go to output three and four. This one go to five and six. Let's say I want the snare on the same channel. I'll put both of those on seven, eight. I want to isolate the ride, nine, 10. And all these toms are on the same bus. If I want to isolate them, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, was it 19, 20? Yep. But be careful, some of these uh, drums and mixer presets in Easy Drummer 3, they'll have so many channels you can't actually route every single channel out. So you do want to group some of them sometimes. So let me just say I want the ride and the overheads to be on the same thing. So 21, 22. I want all the ambient tracks to be on its own. This actually isn't a preferred workflow. This is a random example because it depends on what my song demands is what I need isolated. And all these last percussion stuff, I'll just put them way, way away because I don't use them much, but they'll all have their own stereo track. So now let's hit play. So you can see the levels on that kick drum. Three different kick drum mics. 
This is a sub mic in case you can't hear it. You see some channels aren't actually working. That's just because there's no toms in this. Watch these faders. So now we've officially routed Easy Drama 3. A couple things I might do is I might build a, a bus or an auxiliary track. In uh, Reaper, I'll just right-click in a blank area. There's plenty of ways to do this. Insert new track. And I will call this, I inserted it in the middle of all of them, um, Easy Drummer 3 Bus. I'll grab this new track and I will drag it to the beginning. And if I want to route all of my Easy Drummer 3 channels back through a bus, you might want to do that so you can control it better. You can mute your entire drum mix, solo your entire drum mix, or adjust the volume of your entire drum mix without having to select all these at the same time. That's why I want to make a bus. So I'll select every Easy Drummer channel. I'll select the first one, hold shift on my keyboard, select the last one. Now I have all my drums selected. And I'll simply drag them up. I'll select them. I'll drag them up into the Easy Drummer 3 bus. Notice that hand icon. That's not the one I'm looking for. So keep moving your mouse around. It'll turn into a folder like that. Now, all of my Easy Drummer 3 mix is now shooting through this new bus channel I just made. So now I can mute it, the whole mix, solo the whole mix. Or if I have my whole song up and running, now I can mix my entire drum mix with the rest of my song. So that's routing Easy Drummer 3. Now I can add some effects. My snares here, maybe I'll, um, where's a fab filter? Maybe I'll want to accentuate the ringing of that snare. Or maybe get rid of it, and so on and so forth. Also, this bus channel we made, you know, that's how you treat the entire mix, or maybe put a compressor on to glue all those separate channels back together. Your options are limitless. But, um, there's waves, L2. I'll just throw a compressor there real quick. So now I'm compressing that entire kit, even limiting it a little bit. And before I go, you know, once you have this many channels representing your single drum plugin and you have a full session, you might want to um, color them. So I'll select the first uh, channel in my drums, hold shift, select the last one. I'll right click and I'll go to track color set track to custom color and I'll turn it orange. And if you want to geek out like me, um, you can look over here in these numbers, the RGB 226, 98, 35. That's the official orange of Easy Drummer 3 if you want to geek out. So now I got them all orange. And you now this does take a bit of work to get set up, but do you want to save it as a template? I'm not sure because when you change the drums and mixer preset in Easy Drummer 3, your routing changes. So you kind of have to redo a bit of the work. But I definitely would save a template in Reaper if I was always loading and routing the same kit and same preset where I would go to project templates, save project as template, and save it right there. So, and lastly, as one last trick, is I might right click on the actual channel where Easy Drummer 3 is on. I'll right click if you have a strong enough computer. And I'll go to track performance options and I'll put prevent anticipative effects. Because sometimes when you're working with Easy Drummer, you, you hear it in real time, but you don't see the drums being played perfectly in real time. You don't see the grid editor scrolling by in real time. If you select that option right there under the performance options, it will task your computer a little more, but you will visually see Easy Drama 3 perform in real time. This is Sean from Shooty School. Check out shootyschool.com for my courses. Rock on.